Welcome to Taino Bay, located in the Dominican Republic. Hey y'all, it's Koala bringing you quality cruise content, and we are here in Puerto Plata. This port provides a unique experience for cruisers. Of course, you can go on excursions and do your port shopping and whatnot, but this cruise port is incredibly different from most ports because this area provides its own secluded pool and beach experience. And the best part? It's free. Similar to Costa Maya, Taino Bay gives an enclosed experience for those who want a relaxing port day. Even better, it's not privately owned by one single cruise line, so you can travel here on many different ships. In this video, we're gonna do a brief walkthrough of the port, showing you how to get to the Lazy River and the new developments, and then we're gonna jump in a pool ring and hop in the river. You'll see a large yellow sign that says access at the duty-free shop, and to get to the main attractions, we have to go through this shop. But this is a sign that you are going the right way. There are maps everywhere and signs to make sure that you're not lost as you are venturing through, and if you pay attention you'll find some pretty cool things tucked away so keep an eye out as you're walking through. As you start walking you will see Cantina Latina. We did eat here after a fun day of swimming and it was delicious. You will find plenty of native dishes here and as you continue walking you will find plenty of scenery as well as the birds. Always a fun photo opportunity and there are plenty of shops all around the port as well so if you forgot something or need something for your pool day you will be able to grab something here too. I definitely recommend bringing water shoes here or a good pair of sandals or flip flops because there is a lot of stone on the pathways and of course it can definitely get a bit hot. If you want to hop around the pools and the bars, you're definitely going to want those. Now, as you continue, like I said, there are plenty of signs, but you are going to find a bar and it has like a white top to it. And this is a sign you're going in the right direction. You're gonna find many bars around here too. So you're always going to find somewhere to get a drink, especially on a really hot day, you're going to need it. And there's a lot of seating too around here, but we want to find the best spot for you and I'm going to show you that towards the end of the video with the new development. The restrooms here are really great, they're well maintained and they're always kept fresh, which is awesome. Definitely something hard to find in a lot of ports. But because of how developed this area is, they do a really good job of this. Definitely a plus. Now, if you're finding this video helpful so far, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all things cruising. I post ship tours, cabin tours, port tours, and I hope to do a little bit more vlogging too. Here you're gonna find a spot to grab some food, and I love this pool area. Y'all, it is so picturesque. May I dare say Instagram worthy? And the water here is just stunning. The beach, the pools, they really, really do a good job of keeping this area gorgeous. If you don't necessarily want to sit by the pool and you want to sit by the ocean, you can do that too as well. The scenery of the Dominican Republic is stunning in and of itself. Hopefully you have a good way to take photos because you're definitely going to want them here. Now the pool spots are really popular and you're going to find these bean bags everywhere and they're super comfortable. I love that the port gives you opportunities to hide from the sun, get a little bit of shade. There's a little bit of both worlds here going on. Now we just walked through the main original development of Taino Bay. But let's go take a look at the new updates and get to that lazy river. The lazy river seriously is my favorite part about Taino Bay. It just gives it an extra bit of fun and this area is where you want to go. So I'm sharing a pretty big secret y'all but I really 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 recommend grabbing a spot down here. I know it's a bit of a walk, but if you get here early enough, these beds and bean bags are great if you are a part of a large party and you need a little bit of extra space. I also like that it's not entirely crowded in a sense. It's well spaced out and you get a little bit of shade too with the beds, so keep that in mind. But this is a really good spot that I recommend. And this is definitely also why I recommend having sandals or flip-flops to get around too. But this is the most dedicated seating spot in Taino Bay. But like I said, you definitely want to try and get here a little bit earlier. And as you walk through this area, you are going to find the entrance to the Lazy River. This is such a fun experience, and I want to say maybe it took about 20 minutes. But y'all, it is free. Yes, 100% free, no charge, and absolutely worth your time. It is so relaxing, and you get to take in the beauty of the area. Recommend doing this early, because no one else was here when I went on it. So, 
let's take a trip around shall we i love that you get to take it all in you get to go under some bridges get a little bit of shade too and they decorated it really nicely it's great for kids and adults and they did not miss a beat with this all right let's go through this experience together I was so lucky that it was such a beautiful day. Like I said, the Dominican Republic is already stunning, but the weather just made it so perfect. And the ship views, like I said, oh my goodness, you really get to take it in with the Lazy River. They optimized it and made it absolutely perfect. are back at the entrance y'all what a fun port this is definitely a favorite of mine I loved it so much I booked another cruise to go visit again later this year but I have been telling all my friends and fellow cruisers that haven't been here before that this is the place to go this is the it place right now it's definitely a win for the cruise community too it hits all of the marks and it's great like I said for adults and families alike after a nice lazy river experience, it was time to hit the pool. There is a beautiful walk up bar and it's great because especially with how hot it can get, you definitely wanna stay hydrated y'all. And make sure you bring sunscreen. You don't want to forget your sunscreen. Well, let's jump in the water and just relax a little bit. And I'm gonna show you just how gorgeous this water is. I mean, beautiful everything is breathtaking and these photos do not do it any justice i do want to note that when i went the surf simulator was not open unfortunately so keep that in mind if you know if it's open already comment down below let us know after a fun day of swimming around and overall having a great day we got to the cantina i got some shrimp nachos and i absolutely recommend it i ate it before i could even get a picture honestly but i also recommend to try out some of the native food and enjoy the culture. Of course, you know, the weather had to take a turn and it was time to head back to the ship. But this was one for the books and I cannot wait to continue visiting here. Absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and informative. I hope you also enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about the port and see the lazy river and everything. So make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things cruising. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. And I have a website where you can sign up for an email newsletter to stay up to date. Thank you all so much again. See you in the next video and bon voyage.